I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a valentine plant. I come right here in the center and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot going towards the right, I draw a curved line up. Come back to the dot, I draw a curved line up. Starting on the left, I draw a straight line down, slightly curved line over, come up on the right, straight line down, connect. Starting at the top, I draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line. Come down to the bottom and draw another wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect. Right in the center, I put a dot, and I'm going to draw a curved line up, down, on the right, come back to the dot, curved line up, down, connect. Starting over here on the left, I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five straight lines. Starting at this top, I come over on the left and I draw a dot, and I draw a curved line down on the, left, on the right, Curve line down, on the left, connect. Come up to the next one, put a dot. Curve line down on the right, curve line down, on the left, connect. Put a dot, curve line down on the right, curve line, bam, it crashes into that. I just continue the line from down below. Don't draw through your drawing. Curve line down on the right, curve line down, bam, it crashes again. Jump over, draw your line straight down. One more, put a dot, curve line, curve line down, connect. Now we're going to put another dot, big curve line, connect, put a dot, curve line, connect, put a dot, curve line, connect. We're bringing it up, put a dot, curve line, put a dot, curve line, put a dot, curve line, connect. Come over here at the very top, let's put one more, put a dot, curve line, connect. And now we're going to put a dot on the right, put a dot on the right, put a dot on the right, curve line, curve line, connect. And let's put a dot over here, curve line, curve line, connect. Come inside and we're going to add some more straight lines now. And we're going to add curve line out, curve line in, out, curve line in, out, connect on the left, curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, connect on the right. Now, we don't want this floating, so we're going to take a straight line to the left, jump over, straight line to the right. Let's draw some more straight lines. Jump over, continue to the right, straight line across, straight line across. There we go. Okay. I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take my red and color in all of these spaces. Now, this part of your plant is going to look different maybe from the person sitting next to you if you're in a class and that's okay because we all draw differently some of you might have bigger hearts some of you might have smaller hearts the main thing is is that you have a lot of hearts so I'm going to color all of these red all the way across keep going keep going now, some of you might say, can I make my colors a different color? Always yes. You are the artist. You can make your own choices. The ones that I'm showing you are only suggestions. If you come up with a different color combination, go for it. So all of these need to be colored in red. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep 
going. Now, as a matter of fact, I know somebody who did all of their hearts purple. And it looked great. But we'll do ours red on this one. You can always make another one and do any colors you want. Okay, now with my regular green, I'm going to fill in straight lines in between these lines. Okay? And I'm also going to color in this space. Okay? And on the left, I'm going to color in this space. Okay? Then, very lightly, I'm going to color, or I'm going to draw straight green lines on the inside of this space. Okay? Next, I take my yellow and I color in the top space right here at the top and I'm going to color in yellow my jump over the first part of the table or shelf that my plant is sitting on but I'm going to do a B a B so I'm going to skip one come in with the yellow right underneath then with my pink, I'm going to color in the B part of my ABAB pattern. And you will do a way better job than me. You can loop de loop that. I guess that's what I should have done. Loop de loop it across, fill it in. And now I take my pink and I draw pink straight lines all the way down. Now like I said, this is the color combination I used. You might want to choose a different color combination and that is fine. Okay? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my Valentine's Day plant all colored in. Okay, bye-bye.